in my previous videos I've done a couple unboxings and uh, this is the previous frame this is what everybody's calling the blackout uh, clone there's an unboxing for that of what it looks like when you get it from Banggood but today I got a new frame this is a Diatone DIY FPV number 17 V3B this one is different than the other ones in that it has an integrated PCB board and I just got it today haven't even taken out of this packaging yet but this is what it looks like kind of impressive that it came in a box where the other one came in a plastic bag oh nice except it's been squished pretty good through the mail but that's all right oh nice ziploc bag it's good the big difference between this one and the other ones is that this one has an integrated pcb board that's for your motors it doesn't do your uh, video or anything i don't think but it does help with your motor layouts let's see if i can find here it is when you have your arms connected the the escs will uh solder on to these points by all the arms instead of having to have a separate uh, power distribution board or wiring all your own wires together now i can't tell for sure if this is carbon fiber i think it's supposed to be but it's played with something on here but let's see if we can get close up of this it's kind of cool looking diatone number 17. So anyway, that's what it looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and try to measure some of these arms. Here's one of the arms. Another big complaint a lot of people have are the, are the uh, oops, is the width of these arms. Let's zero this out. These are two millimeter arms. The Blackout clone, or the Mystery 250, has three millimeter arms. Let's see what these main plates are. Main plate is 1.6. Check all of them real quick. 1.53, 1.59, and 1.48. Nothing like a little consistency in your carbon fiber uh, widths here. Let's see, this one's uh, 208. We'll check all these arms real quick, see if they're all the same. And 207, probably good. 207. Yeah, they're all good. They all, all the arms are pretty close to the same. 210, 211. Close enough. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and try to assemble this. This one doesn't look like it came with any instructions other than this little card telling me what it is. That's nice of them. Let's see what else we got. Screws to put it all together. Uh, nylon lock nuts. And the anti-vibration dampening things. That's good. Oh, and, and oh, look at this. Came with four propellers. Nice. Now, the, the big thing about this... Oh, yeah, it has the spacers here, too. The big thing about this is that it has the integrated power distribution board, plus... Yeah, there it is. Plus, it has the, it, uh, has the motors on a separate plate than the, uh, than the, the flight board. All these arms are the same length. So you don't have to worry about making sure you put some certain ones on the front and some on the back. Also, all the screws that came in the package, they're all the same. So you don't have to worry about, you know, which screw goes where. And hopefully, and probably, there'll be some extras. These arms mount into these two holes here and the two holes on here. And that mounts together like this. With the vibration dampeners in here, it helps try to eliminate some of the vibrations made from the motors from getting to the flight controller to give you weird flight characteristics. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put this together and we'll see what it looks like. Because this frame uses a separate platform for the motors and a separate one for the uh, top, you want to make sure you get all of these dampeners in this lower plate before you start putting the arms on. And also on this top, top plate, you want to go ahead and put in the little red spikes on the top, uh, the little red spacers on the uh, top platform. So here it is with all the legs screwed on. And like I said, make sure you put these on first because once you have these things screwed together, there's no getting to the underside of these and you will be taking it apart like I did. So here's the next part. I got this thing mounted on here. These little dampeners pulled through all right. I ended up using a pair of tweezers to help pull them through. Well, here it is fully assembled. 
I got the top plate put, put on and the legs on the bottom. Now I'm not sure what I think of these metal spacers being the legs. They're just going to get scratched up to death. But, I, but you don't really want to be landing on this belly. I mean, look how shiny this is. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there is the th frame that's all put together. Has a few extra screws. This is nice because I've lost some out of my other quads, so that'll be good. Here is the uh, five inch propeller that came with this. And you can see here, I'll try to line it up. And it, it should easily clear most of this stuff. Yeah, it'll clear it. You just can't have anything sticking up. Well, your motor will be in here too. Can't have anything up there too high. Maybe about like that, maybe. And it clears those things just fine. Now here's a six inch propeller. I do have some extras of these if anybody's interested. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no one's probably interested. But these will not spin on here. I mean, they're, they're already hitting, they'll hit these. So you can't run six inch propellers on this thing for sure. Not unless you take off the, uh, take off the top plate and the spacers here. But if you do that, I kind of question why you bought this frame in the first place. Anyway, let's see how this compares size-wise to the uh, Blackout clone. That, at least that's what everybody calls it. There, it's a little bit smaller between the um, Diatone 17 arms. And even this ways, let me get these lined up. There we go, about there. And it's a lot more narrow too but that's mostly because of the six inch propellers that this that the fpv or the blackout clone can support that this one can't here's the uh, fpv 250 and let's see how they compare with this it's um it's pretty close to the fpv 250 on the but the left to right but the back to front is way shorter Probably because this is an H quad and this is more of an X. Anyway, it's getting boring. This is awesome. It looks cool. I think it's going to be really cool when you can put the uh, ESC wires on here. Like this Afro 12 amp ESC. It could attach onto here. And then you take your two wires that I have extensions on here now. Take these and solder them right on to your positive and negative wires. Or positive and negative pads right in there. Now the nice thing is don't have all this wiring going through there or maybe you could put these underneath inside there Let's see how skinny this is Let's see if this will actually fit this is an afro 12 amp esc oh yeah it'll fit in here too it may not fit very well once you uh put some kind of padding on there double-sided sticky tape to make it stick but it could fit in there i guess that wouldn't be too bad and you'd have the wires hole in the bottom for the wires to come out the bottom and to uh, fiddle with getting them up into the uh, flight board up here too. Actually, it'd be kind of nice. It also has the camera holder up here in the front. Oh, and also the um, place in here where you put your flight board. It's designed to where it can accommodate a KK2 board. That's like 36, 35 millimeter, or even down to uh, the 650 millimeter. Excuse me. And the 35 millimeter Nas 32 boards, just with this, with the little slider or the little spacers in there where you can put them in. Anyway, this is the Diatone number 17 frame. Oh yeah, wait, we need to measure, see how much this thing weighs. Almost forgot the most important part. All right, here it is in grams, 189.0 grams. The Blackout clone came in at 136.8. So you do have another 50 ounce or 50 grams of weight on this one that you do above the other one, but hopefully you'll make up for it by not having so many wires running around connecting everything together. Also, you gotta kind of just guess that this thing's gonna weigh more since it has uh, two extra plates more than, or uh, one more plate more than the other one does, plus it has the eight vibration dampeners. This has been a quick unboxing and assembly of the Diatone number 17. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments too, I read about everything I get. Um, one other thing you want, you want to notice, see this says diatone number 17. It says it across all the plates. So if you have OCD, you might want to line these up. Otherwise, it will drive you nuts that they're not lined up. Better to get it right the first time. Uh, overall, I really like this frame. I think the legs look a little stumpy. 
but that's probably because there's no motor on here or anything else to make it look a little bit wider than it really is. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. I'll answer and respond to you. And thanks for watching.